your desires feel good to you when you think about them that's a good thing isn't it that means you are not contradicting them with beliefs that are different when you want it but that desire is not as pleasant as when you want it and I want this thing I cannot have doesn't feel so good does it you ever heard yourself say I felt better before I knew I wanted that since I don't believe I can have it we want you to know that there is nothing that is off limits to you and that if in fact your life experience has brought you to a place that you have identified a desire for something it's well along the way by the time you are verbalizing that you want it a lot of momentum has already happened a lot of important momentum that you beautiful humans in your human form don't count usually because you don't account for the momentum of contrast that caused you to put it together vibrationally bit by bit you often don't account for all of the momentum that happened even before you were fully realizing that you wanted it so by the time you are verbalizing I really want this when that idea comes to you that fresh idea that felt so good for a minute you know before you killed it with your doubt <laughs> that exhilarating feeling of recognizing that you have a desire for something the majority of the momentum and the attraction power has already taken place and now the bringing it into your realization where you can see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it that's really the easy part but so often you don't realize that because dear hearts you hold yourself in a holding pattern unnecessarily you hold it away from you without meaning to for one very simple reason we're going to give it to you right here in the beginning you want to know why you don't often always often you know why you sometimes often <laughs> don't allow your desires to come to smooth and fast and easy fruition it's because you're looking into the physical world where you want it to show up and if it isn't there then your awareness that it isn't there is what slows it down and keeps it from coming isn't that interesting because you get what you think about so you want to ask yourself am I thinking more about it being here or am I noticing more that it isn't here yet and you can sort of tell by the conversation that you hear coming out of yourself things like I'll be glad when it gets here or I'll be happy when when such and such happens then I will really be happy and so if it's then not now think about it then feel what's going on in your vibration if it's later not now so sometimes you wonder when we talk like this from our place of already knowing that it is but you don't know that it is yet because you can't see it so from your point of view often it isn't well which is it is it or isn't it because it can't be both and if you think that it isn't yet then your vibration is different than if you accept that it is you see what we're getting at sometimes we ask you to feel happy about it in its evolving and you want to say okay but I'll be happier when it gets here and we say that's a little tricky isn't it because are you more absence of it aware or presence of it aware and this is really what we want to talk about because it exists and it does have a vibrational presence even though you have not yet allowed yourself to see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it still it exists and so if you can feel it in its becoming rather than in its absence it's sort of like you ever get in a car and take a trip somewhere and for most of those many many miles you're not there yet you're not there yet but you're not driving along thinking about the absence of your destination usually <laughs> you're usually in the moment aware of where you are yes and so we would like to see you realizing the existence of your desires before they have manifested and if you can find a way to do that then there are going to be two wonderful predominant aspects to your life forevermore as you are here in this physical body first is many more of the things that you are wanting are going to be showing up faster and next you're going to be happy along the way whether they're here quite yet or not 
Have you ever had the experience of really looking forward to something? Maybe it's a vacation or a getting together with someone, an experience of some kind, usually really looking forward to it. And then it comes and goes and then you're depressed because <laughs> you were so looking forward to it. Well, that's the state of being we would like you to be chronically in the state of being of looking forward, looking forward, looking forward. Anticipation is such a wonderful emotion because when you are in happy anticipation, that means you are not blocking the unfolding in any way. In fact, you are encouraging it better said you are allowing it with your vibrational frequency. You're allowing it through your positive expectation. One of our favorite words that Esther finds to describe things that we mean to say is the word expectation because expectation includes both a desire and a belief. So when you have positive expectation about something, then it is happily unfolding and you're happy all along the way. If you could find a way to be more expectant of the things that you want, oh, that's the sweet spot of life. When you in your physical body are approaching a subject, the subject that is in your current now, and you are approaching it in the same way that your inner being is approaching it. Ooh, that's when you feel bliss or eagerness. That's when you feel love and appreciation. That means you are on the same emotional, vibrational, emotional, vibrational wavelength. But if your inner being, is looking at what you're looking at differently than you're looking at it. For example, if you're really mad at someone and your inner being never is, then the negative emotion that you feel is your indicator that there are some conflicting vibrations going on. And that in fact is what resistance is. And you are the only one who can introduce resistance into your experience. And when you introduce resistance into your experience, you slow down who you are and what you want. It really is as simple as that. So the short version of this explanation of you, the creator of your own experience is get happy and stay there and good things will come to you. We've enjoyed this interaction immensely. <laughs> Go forth and ponder and practice. So when you realize that you can tell in every moment what you're doing, then you can begin to shift your vibration just a little bit. You know how when you're driving down the road, you drive, mm, Esther loves driving. You're driving down the road and a lot of momentum has happened before this moment. In other words, the roadways have been paved usually, and there are lanes that are defined usually, and you have an efficient machine that you are driving usually. So as you're moving down the road, if you begin to drift off into the grass, usually you do something about correcting that. And the more alert you are, the more effective, efficient you are at it. So when you drive, you usually stay in your lane, don't you? And you usually don't drive over the top of the car in front of you. You usually don't try to occupy the same space with another vehicle at the same time. You've learned some of it, but you intuitively know how to place yourself as you're moving along. The other morning, Esther awakened. We should tell you what happened before that. She went to sleep before she awakened. We should tell you what happened before she went to sleep. She watched television. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> she was watching something to do with the political stuff. And then she thought, I can't take it anymore. And she turned it off and she went to sleep in resistance. Yes. But while she slept, her vibration cleared. That's what always happens. And then when she awakened, she was still in that clear place for a minute and then she received a sort of disturbing phone call about something not very important, but important enough. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and then she thought, Ooh, Ooh, this is the beginning of a new day. I'm going to take care of this right now. In other words, like correcting your driving, not off in the grass. So she brushed her teeth and sat to meditate, meditated for 15 minutes. Ah, came back into that clear space and stayed there for a little while until she checked her email. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and then she says, Oh no, not this. I'm going to focus with clarity. Now what we're getting at is this is not so different than driving down the road. Is it? 
in other words you do something about it because if you're driving down the road and you're not watching what you're doing and you end up off in the grass and you don't do something about bringing yourself back into your lane and now something more happens and something more happens and something more happens and something more happens you could bring yourself to a lot of trouble momentum sort of happens that way doesn't it here's another way of looking at it if you're driving across a big wide roadway in a very effective car and there's not much going on around you you could be a little lackadaisical sloppy in your driving just a little bit couldn't you ever drive with your knees <laughs> ever change places with someone else while you're driving <laughs> sometimes you feel comfortable and so you don't feel like you need to be so attentive to what's happening because there isn't some momentum that's going to be to your disadvantage but what if you're driving on a mountain road and there are sharp drop-offs don't you pay more attention to what you're doing are not some roads you drive on a little riskier than others and some subjects you think about are a little riskier than others now we're not saying avoid the subjects that might take you off in the grass we're not saying that we're saying when you're approaching those subjects be clear about who you are because it's not what you do so much in a correcting sense that matters vibrationally it's the preparation you have made in advance it's how ready you are it's how much you care about being in alignment that really is the secret to the success of manage your own vibration do you acknowledge that you are the creator of your own reality have you come that far and do you understand that law of attraction abounds and is responding to your output all of the time and do you understand that what comes back to you is because of the output in other words what you're broadcasting and what you're receiving are the same thing so it matters what you think doesn't it it matters a lot do you find yourself sometimes being a reactor to what's going on in your experience it's interesting isn't it to be living in a world with so many others who are creating their own reality because it is not the easiest thing to navigate in all of that vibrational current and maintain your own frequency unless you've practiced it a bit and that's really what we're talking about in all of the hours that we are together with all of you many of you are here at your first seminar but you are not new to these ideas and it is our expectation that as we move forward together today that the things that you will talk about that you're wondering about and the things that we have to say about it and the things that others in the room will think about it as we're having the conversation is going to move this conversation of personal creation into a whole new place of understanding for you the most important thing that we want you to understand and it's easier at sometimes to accept this than others is that things are always working out for you and the reason that we know that to be true is because we know who you are we know who you were before you came into these bodies and we know who this life has caused you to become we see the vibrational version of you the vibrational version that life has caused you to be the vibrational version that you are now because you want to feel good meaning to live up to that's the part of you that we know best but it does not mean that we are not aware and lovingly aware of where you stand in relationship to that evolved and expanded being and if there is anything that we wish to convey to you in a way that you can really understand it it's that you came into this body with great reason and purpose and that purpose was for this joyful expansion and that if in your physical body right here and now you're not allowing yourself to be that vibrational being that life has caused you to become then you are less happy than you want to be you are meant to feel exhilaration you are meant to feel love you are meant to feel passion you are meant to be excited about life you are meant to attract wonderful things and experiences and others into your life experience life is supposed to feel good to you that was your plan and if it isn't feeling good to you just not now or maybe often then something is amiss in your vibration and we know for sure that it's a simple misunderstanding on your part we know that you have diverged from the understanding of worthiness about yourself and so that is our reason for playing with you in this way we want to help you to feel who you really are 
and we want you to stop beating up on yourself for anything that you have not yet figured out how to allow into your experience.